Bill, Mr. Summer said, and Bill Hutchinson reached into the box and felt around, bringing his hand out at last with a slip of paper in it. The crowd was quiet. A girl whispered, I hope it's not Nancy. The sound of the whisper reached the edges of the crowd. It's not the way it used to be, the old man Warner said clearly. People ain't the way they used to. All right, Mr. Summers said, open the papers. Harry, you open little Dave's. Mr. Graves opened the slip of paper. And there was a general sigh through the crowd as he held it up, and everybody could see that it was blank. Nancy and Bill Jr. opened theirs at the same time, and both beamed and laughed, turning around to the crowd and holding their slips of papers above their heads. Tessie, Mr. Summers said. There was a pause, and then Mr. Summers looked at Bill Hutchinson, and Bill unfolded his paper and showed it. It was blank. It's Tessie. Mr. Summers said, and his voice was hushed. Show us her paper, Bill. Bill Hutchinson went over to his wife and forced the slip of paper out of her hand. It had a black spot on it, the black spot Mr. Summers had made the night before with the heavy pencil in the coal company office. Bill Hutchinson held it up. And there was a stir in the crowd. All right, folks, Mr. Summer said, let's finish quickly. Although the villagers had forgotten the ritual and lost the original black box, they still remembered to use stones. The pile of stones the boys had made earlier was ready. There were stones on the ground with the blowing scraps of paper that had come out of the box. Mrs. Delacroix selected a stone so large she had to pick it up with both hands and turn to Mrs. Dunbar. Come on, she said, hurry up. Mrs. Dunbar had small stones in both hands and she said, gasping for breath, I can't run at all. You'll have to go ahead and I'll catch up with you. The children had stones already and someone gave little Davy Hutchinson a few pebbles. Tessie Hutchinson was in the center of a cleared space by now. She held her hands out desperately as the villagers moved in on her. It isn't fair, she said. A stone hit her on the side of the head. Old Man Warners was saying, come on, come on, everyone. Steve Adams was in the front of the crowd of villagers with Mrs. Graves beside him. It isn't fair. It isn't right. Mrs. Hutchinson screamed. And then they were upon her.